When we mix CCL4, carbon tetrachloride, plus water, H2O, the question is what happens? They're both liquids, so we can put a little L in parentheses after each one to show that they're liquids. So these compounds are similar in the sense that they're both made up of nonmetals. That makes them molecular compounds. But the big difference is carbon tetrachloride, CCL4, that's nonpolar. H2O, water, that's a polar molecule. So let's look at CCL4 first and then at H2O and we'll see why this is important. So this is carbon tetrachloride, the carbon's at the center and we have four chlorine atoms. This bond right here is very polar. There's a big difference in electronegativity between the carbon and the chlorine. But because they're equidistant, they all cancel out. So when we look at the surface of the molecule, this is symmetrical. So there's no dipole. There's no plus or minus side to this molecule. It's nonpolar. When we look at the water molecule, we can see that it's not symmetrical. We have hydrogens down here. We have our lone pairs up here. And if we looked at the surface of water, we'd see there's a distinct negative and a distinct positive side. So it's a polar compound. Because of this, the carbon tetrachloride won't mix with the water. They just aren't attracted. There's no plus or minus side for the carbon tetrachloride molecule to attract to the water. Therefore, when you mix them, the carbon tetrachloride won't mix. It's immiscible. And in fact, it's heavier than water, so it'll just go to the bottom of the beaker. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.